Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's time to continue colouring in our Grayscale Unicorns with by Jade Summer. So we're going to be, excuse me, I'm just shoving some stuff so I can get comfortable. I might sit on the floor and do this one actually. So yes, we haven't got much left to do in this book. We're using the Arteza Everblend Markers, as you can see. Thanks for everybody who commented on the last um, instalment. Thank you, I appreciate that, and welcome back. Hope you're enjoying this uh, colouring picture. Um, somebody to say that to be careful with the other blends because they do bleed through and that is true I, I, They do if you're not careful. I always leave my blotter paper in behind so it doesn't seep through Into there. It seems to be a problem that if you close the book while it's dry John the Bibliophile colorist has, has mentioned this several times if you cut if you close the book while the book is still wet It tends to seep through and you've got to let it dry completely first. So let's crack on Oh, there goes my phone buzzing. So we're just going to do the jewels in her crown. It will look dark at the moment just simply because it's wet. There. Let's grab my bits. Oh dear me. Oh dear. It's going to be one of those days tonight. Do you know what when you have Oops, that's the wrong end. One of those days and you just wish it would end. It's going to be one of those. Here we go. Now I am going to use a glitter pen on his horn and these things around his feet. Um, because I want to. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just in one of those moods today. You know where you, you think, oh, I'm just, I just don't care. So anyway. How are we all? Are we all feeling good? Are we all colouring loads, enjoying our lives? Are we, are we well? That's the most important thing. Um, I am now on a week's holiday. Yay! So there's no work for me. Lots of playing with Jennifer. Lots of colouring. Lots of going out for nice walks as long as it's not too raining. It will be raining over the next few days. Um, my birthday on Monday. Um, and we'll be doing a weekly vlog because we're off so sometimes I usually do um, a daily vlog when we're on holiday but we're not on holiday because it's been cancelled so we're just having a nice week off work and we're going to relax and not care about anything we're just gonna have a nice time so yeah it's um, really you know I've been okay these last few days um we've done a couple of quizzes you know like we do we do the quizzing we I mean, we never win but we we do it because it's something to do it's a bit of fun you know and uh we do like to do the quiz we like to have a bit of fun with the quizzes uh, just because it's they're nice. The quizzes are really nice. They're good fun. We did a the movie quiz and we we were terrible on the movie quiz this week. Last week we weren't too bad. This week we were horrendous. Um, we come like 47 out of 50. But yesterday we did the general knowledge quiz and we were like 31 out of 75 or 80. So that was okay. Yeah. So yeah I'm going to do different colours for this guy's hair so we're just going to put some lilac in or whatever colour this is yeah lilac it was right it a, and it is a lilac -y colour um, but it's fun so we're doing another quiz on my birthday which is Monday and that is the back to the future quiz which will be fun. So it's the Back to the Future trilogy, so it's all three films. I'm not really worrying whether or not this actually matches, it's just to give him some nice coloured hair. Yeah, so 
we're doing the Back to the Future quiz and then we'll probably do another general knowledge quiz on the weekend. Paul's not keen on the movie quizzes because we didn't do very well. We really didn't do very well, I will not lie. But I, I really enjoyed it. It was it was fun. It was really, really fun. So um, All their quizzes are fun, I'm not going to lie. We, we do enjoy them very much so. And uh, we'll keep doing them as long as we can. If all they do them, we'll, we'll do them. They are they are doing less now because they, when everybody was on furlough, they were doing them in the week. But uh, obviously, most people have gone back to or are in the process of going back to work. So, you know, you know what it's like. With people going back to work, it's harder for them to justify the outlay. So, I, I enjoy doing them in the week, a bit earlier. They, get half, they start at half seven and then on the, on the weekend they start at eight. So, it's not too bad. Uh, let's have a bit of orange. So, yeah, I mean... It's just a question of what you enjoy doing and I enjoy quizzing. I'm still reading M.P. Priestley's book One Autumn in Whitechapel. It's so good. Which is obviously, if you didn't know, a Jack the Ripper book. And um, this one's very, very in-depth. It goes a lot into the background of it and um, a lot of information on similar crimes that happened at the same time although they might not have been in the same area you know just to give it some context really and I think that's what makes this book one of the better books and I'm really really enjoying it um fiction I'm reading I've got a load of books on the go I've got to be honest I'm again reading a Jack the Ripper book <laughs> this one is called Jack Ripper's House is by Amy Cross. I have read stuff from her before. Um, and uh, yeah, she writes horror basically, or very ghostly stories. Uh, it's good. It's not the, the best book I've ever written, but I read, I haven't written one. Well, I have, but that's another story. But it is a very, very, it's, it's actually very good. It flips between the past and the present, so. 1888 and the present day and gives a reason for the murders which is always interesting because we don't know why Jack the Ripper committed the crimes he did we just know he did so this way it gives us um, that sort of context and it is it's, it's actually quite good I'm really enjoying it um, you get to one bit and you want it to go back to the other section when it jumps back and then the next time he's on she's talking about the old times you want it to be the new times and then when it's the new times you want it to be the old times I do find that but it is very good so it is a very very interesting um, um, concept it's a series as well, it's not just one book from what I gather. So, and I've got the whole series, I think. Either that or it's just one of those ones where they've written in, in small chapters so that you listen to what you read one and then they release another one and, and so on. Like Stephen King did with the original release of The Green Mile. So. I'll just put a bit of pink over this side and a bit there, a bit there. Oh dear, it's one of those hard days today. What colour is that? Pale. Oh hello, my video's come back on. Let me just turn this off, I won't be a second. Okay, sorry about that. I think what happened then was it, um, uh, the case with the markers in is actually sitting, was sitting on the remote control, so. 
I think that's what the problem was there. So. Paul's still chatting to his friend. Different friend now, he's um, talking to a couple of people tonight. I certainly don't have a problem, it gave me an excuse to come up and make a video for you guys. Or even several. Yes. I do tend to bulk film when I get the chance because other times I'm doing my eBay or, you know, things like that. So if I'm doing eBay, I haven't got time to necessarily make videos because eBay is quite time consuming. God knows what they're discussing. They were discussing pubs the other day and in England, if you go out into a pub, they're going to take all your details so that if somebody comes down with coronavirus, you know, they can um, contact you and hopefully get you to isolate. So I don't know. I'm not monetized, so I'm not really worrying about mentioning the dread disease on this channel because at the moment we're not monetized. And whether or not we monetize, that's down to you guys because I need so many subscribers, which I haven't got yet, and I'm not worrying about it because I make these videos because I like making the videos, not because I necessarily want to make money from, from them. So that would be good because it does cost me a fortune. And this coloring, this coloring lark is rather, rather expensive. Hmm. It's a great hobby though, and I would do, I would do it anyway. So I would buy. Um, I'm just going to do this bit of grass down here now. I would buy, still buy tons of stuff, even if I wasn't making videos about them, because I like making videos and I like colouring. And I was colouring long before I was making videos. So. so this is dark green, isn't it? It's a bit, probably a bit too dark, but I'll go on a different green in a minute for the ones underneath. It'll, probably, it'll dry a lot lighter than it is. But, uh, So what are you guys colouring? What have you been up to? And if you've got anything new that's really good, any new uh, supplies or any new books that are absolutely awesome that I should definitely think about checking out. Because obviously I will be getting some money for my birthday, not much. And I've still got my Christmas money left, so. As I've still got all that, I was just colouring a little bit over there. Um, is there something I should be buying? Is there, I mean, there's so much I want. So for instance, I could get two of the Clara Markova books. I could get um, the Castle Art Pencils. Um, do you know what I mean? There's so much I could get. I want a good set of watercolours, but Arteza haven't got their 120 set in yet, so I'll, I'll wait till they get the 120 set in. I could get the skin tones, but they're out of stock again. I could save it for the Black Widow's new set, which is coming out soon. Um, so nurseries are opening up again, which I think is... Uh, I don't think it's right. The reason being is if it's not safe to send children to school full-time why is it all right for a private nursery to open and um, why is it right for them to open full-time uh, you know they can't you can't socially distance a two-year-old they don't understand if they want a hug they want a hug 
if they want to cuddle. They're not going to social distance. Why is that okay? So she won't be going back yet anyway. Um, she'll be going back in September. So. Because I'm not going back to work to my office at least until October. And then they're looking at only 30% of the workforce being in at any one time. Um, because of the social distancing. And even if they do what England have done, which is change the... Sorry, I don't think you saw any of that. I do apologise, just colouring in her hair. Um, oh God, what's it called? The social distancing distance is currently... What colour is that? Let's have a look, see if this, this one's the one that's running out, but I might be up enough for her mouth. Um, it's the only one that's run out on this. And I don't know why it has, because I haven't used it that much. That's fine, anyway, got enough out of it. At the moment, it's two metres, the recommended distance. Um, they're thinking of, uh, well, in England, he has reduced that. Where's Arctic? Well, there it is. I love this colour. Um, to, no, I don't want that one. I'm just muttering about what colour I want. That one. Um, one metre. But over here, as yet, we're still on two metres because uh, Drakeford does things the way he wants to. He won't let anybody bully him into copying what they're doing. And I think that's why our level of infection is so much lower than anywhere else. Well, apart from Scotland, which is also very low. Um, I totally get why England are opening up. They're doing it because people need their jobs. The economy is failing. But even if we with, went to that and it was one metre instead of two, that would still only be, and you can't see what I'm doing, I do apologise, still only be 60% of our workforce in around. So the, for the foreseeable future, we'll probably be working from home. And in fact, they're looking at us maybe going into the office one or two days a week or one week in three, or one week in four, one week a month, and the rest of the time working from home, which to me is great because the amount of diesel I'll save working from home is immense. And like Paul's work's not going back anytime soon. So it's a situation where do we, what do we do, you know? I'm going to be working from home at least until October. We're only at the end of June. That's another three months. And I am going to love being with Jennifer for as much as I can as that. I can, I can't even speak, for as much of that as I can. I'll miss a bit of her hair there. I'll just put it in with this, this blue we're using on this bit. It's fine. Um, but yeah, it's nice to know that my company is taking the health and well-being of its staff very, very seriously to the point that they're looking at whether or not we can do this on a more permanent basis. And it's like I've said to my manager, um, sickness will drop because people will think, oh, I can't bother to go in today, but they'll get up. And they'll just, you know, it's like I had a sinusitis attack the other day and I get bad sinus headaches. And had I had to go to the office and drive in, more than likely I would have phoned in sick because I wouldn't have been able to drive. Instead, I got up at my normal time with the headache, I had a drink, hydrated myself very, very well, and then I took some painkillers as well. After I had some food, I took some painkillers, and then I literally just sat there and chilled until it was time to start. By the time I start, my headache had nearly gone. By the time I was an hour into my shift, my headache had completely cleared and I was fine. So that was a day I didn't have to phone in sick. 
people are loving it. There are some people who want to go back to the office and um, people like the social aspect of it. I just drew on my duvet cover and that's not going to come out. Oh dear, never mind. It's not the end of the world, is it? Um, but for me, I get quite anxious driving with a two-year-old in the car. Well, she's a bit older than that. She doesn't particularly like it that much. So if I can get out of actually having to do that. It's just one of those things. It's just deciding what's going to be better for me and her. And at the moment, it's like we said, the office is closed. Nobody is allowed in there. The only reason I need to go is if they need to put something on my laptop so I can use the phone system. I'd need to go in, and, but they would do a risk assessment before that anyway. So that's fine. I ain't got a problem with that. So. Other than that, everything has been good. What have I been up to? Um, work, obviously. Lots of colouring. I've got a huge stack of books to haul at the end of the month. It will be after my birthday on the 29th because I know I'm getting one book from Jennifer as a present. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I just got to move. Oh, I'm getting stiff. It's the only problem with doing it here. I'm not at a table, so it's, I get a bit stiff. Um, so. But I have got a huge stack to the point that I'm at a point. I'm at the point of saying I don't know if I'm going to buy any books next month other than my Colour in Heaven ones, because obviously I've got that on subscription, so I'm going to get it regardless. And I know I do like to buy the Jade Summer books, but I don't buy them all, so I might have a month off of buying any books. So you may not get a haul next month. Or if you do, it would be a very small one. If I, for instance, I will be getting the Black Widows. Um, and I'll have at least one colour in Heaven book. It, it depends. It might be two if, another, if I, I like the collection video, uh, collection, the look of the collection book. I don't always get that. Although they seem to be getting better and better. And they, uh, out of them this year, I've bought three. I bought Ardman, Sarah Kay, and the new one, Costume. But I didn't buy Australia or Botanics because it's not my sort of thing. There's a lot of animals in the Australian one. Um, it's still available. I, I might change my mind on them. But their books are getting better and better and the subscriber sneak peek which i'm not going to tell you who it is i do know who it is now because somebody gave the initials and i figured out who it was sorry from the initials um it's gonna be a good issue i'm gonna enjoy it i think i haven't got his book and that's all i'm saying i haven't got the book um but it's very detailed but I'm, i think i'm really gonna enjoy it so they put out their, the, their quality of the books and the artwork this year, they've, they've outdone themselves. Every one of the subscription books I've loved, even Gothic Alchemy, which isn't something I would normally do because it's such a dark grey scale. Even the dragons, which again, I'm not big on dragons. I um, absolutely loved it. I've done one picture in it. Uh, it took me days. Um, you'll obviously see that in the completed pages or if you're on my Instagram on Facebook you'll, you'll have seen it because it's been posted on various groups but I don't post enough in my group really I should do I always want people to post stuff in there I, the only thing I post in there are the videos so I must start trying to post in my group so very soon I'm going to be photographing all the finished pictures I've done and putting them on my Facebook page just because I like to, you know, I used to, used to put them in an album on my Facebook profile and then I stopped and I don't know why. So what I might do is just delete that folder, create a new one, start again, just photograph every single photo, put what book it's from and so on. So something sticking in me I think it's the drill so yeah I've got a lot more I've got so many books this month has been mad and I've hardly coloured in some of them 
Uh, there's a few pattern books because I do, li I do like um, colouring the pattern books um, in the evenings with Paul or when Jennifer wants to colour we'll sit and colour together and the reason I do the patterns is especially if they're not, if they're not that in depth is if Jennifer gets hold of it and scribbles on the picture I've said this before it's not going to bother me if she got hold of a colour in heaven book that I was working in and scribbled over something I was working in on there I would be gutted because I do spend a lot of time on those I've had some really good I've done some really nice pictures this month I'm really proud of um, I've still got one two three to finish after this one but that's not going to be a problem one's nearly finished in fact they're all very fair well, apart from one they're all fairly close so I am moving around here. Yeah, this is the boring bit doing the sky. But uh, the background and the bit, you know. So I've had one birthday present already, which is from my brother Chris in New Zealand, because he just sent it directly. Normally he sends it to mum and then she gives it to me on my birthday. But because we're he says you're at home, I might as well just send it to your house. We could do that anyway, because I buy stuff from Amazon all the time, I just guess they live in the next door. Um and I know what it is because um, I opened it up just to check that that's what it was that it was from Chris and it is and I, I've just, I know what it is but I haven't actually taken it out of the packaging yet so and I'm really pleased because it's something I really wanted and you'll be seeing that in the weekly vlog oh dear indigestion so Paul likes me colouring he likes to see it. he wants me to take some of the pictures out of the books to put on the wall and I'm like I don't like doing that I'm one of those people I quite, I, I collect things so I like to put them in books, I like to leave them where they are, however I have got some PDF ones you could use that are in my folder, I could always do that, I mean even these Jade Summer ones I could always scan the picture, print it up and do it again. It's like these books, so I'm just going to let Jennifer have when I finish with them. The ones that ones that have got duplicate pictures in. Or if I, if there's, you know, I'd let her colour in it. it when she can colour properly, even if it's not tidy, I'll let her colour in anything she wants. There are maybe one or two exceptions. So, for instance, the um, Nick Philbert book. She's not going to... Yeah, there are a few that I wouldn't let her get near, like the, the hardback ones or and the Nick Philbert ones, but... Um, like the Jade Summer and the Deborah Muller and the um, Kelly Horton cute ones and I still need to colour in those. I love those books. Um, I'd be happy with her colouring in. I'd carry on, you know, here's a book. But not at the moment because all she does is scribble in one colour on the page and thinks that's it. That's, that's how she colours. It's cute. <laughs> she, Paul, uh, she's got a thing about turtles at the moment. Um, this is from watching a program called Andy's Adventures. So he's got Andy's Dinosaur Adventures, Andy's Prehistoric Adventures, Andy's Safari Adventures and Andy's Aquatic Adventures. And it's just this guy. And I, I like um, Aquatic and Safari for a reason I'll go into in a minute. But um, in the Prehistoric and... No, not in the Prehistoric. In the Aquatic and the Dinosaur Adventures, he... There are turtles. And she sees the turtles and she goes turtle and then when when it's a couple more comments she goes more turtle so we started when she goes for when she cuts saying turtles we put them on youtube for her so she can watch the turtles she loves watching the turtles and she just goes more turtle and it's just adorable the way she says it but paul was showing her my youtube channel he had that up for some reason um he just he subscribed to it basically <laughs> why um and she was going mummy more mummy <laughs> it's like, so cute I'm going to try and film a saying more turtles next week when we're doing the weekly vlog. I'm going to put the turtles on and see if she'll say more, more turtle. And it was, oh, she's so sweet and adorable this morning. Um, we'd have breakfast and Paul was doing the washing. I was doing something else. Paul was doing the washing up. And she took out two cereal bowls. And don't forget, she's not quite two and a half yet. She took out two cereal bowls, but she stacked the cereal bowls inside. You know, like you would put the plates together, you put the cereal bowls inside one another. And she took them out like that and handed to them to him. She's so good. And um, we were putting the recycling out. Uh, we took the bin out 
and then she went into the kitchen to get some of the recycling that was just loose on the floor like some, just some boxes that my presents had come in I think they were and she would take them out she is so clever and good you say to it okay Jennifer you can put that in the bin then and she'll go and put it in the bin or if you say you go and put that in the washing machine and she'll put it in the washing machine if you say go and put it in the recycling bin she'll put it in the recycling bin she knows the difference she is just so sweet I don't know how many kids at that age do I don't think I did but uh, she's just she loves it she's and she, she got a bit upset when Paul put the football on this evening because she wanted to watch Andy or Yaya as she calls him because she can't say Andy um, but I just took her outside for a bit to play out in the garden it wasn't raining so we went outside for half an hour well not even half an hour because I was in the middle of doing tea and um, when she came back in she was quite happy then for him to watch the football and we went and had our our dinner me and her had it at the table Paul watched, had it on his lap because he was watching the football which I don't mind and uh I said, you sit there and watch football. Then they had some yoghurt and she was smearing yoghurt on the sofa. Luckily, we've got a leather sofa, so it just wipes off really easy. So it's not a major problem. And I didn't raise my voice or anything. I just I just looked at her. She's smearing it up. And I said, Jennifer, don't do that. And I don't know whether it's because I didn't raise my voice, but I just said it very gently. I said, Jennifer, don't do that. She stopped doing it. She looked at me and she burst into tears. And I don't know why, and she's, I think she was overtired to be honest, because she was really yawning and rubbing her eyes and she sobbed for like 10 minutes and I was like, Jennifer, it's all right, don't worry, we'll just wipe it off. And we just got, got a wet wipe and wiped it off and it's fine. But she it, she was heartbroken because I told her not to do it, and I, but I didn't tell it to her in a nasty way, I didn't raise my voice. It was possibly because I didn't raise my voice that she cried, because I just said to her, yeah, Jennifer, don't do that some reason that really got to her but she was overtired we had been for a walk not a very long walk but we'd been out for a walk which was really nice and oh she's such a good little girl and she it was like she was eating the other day and pulled at the plate or the bowl off of the, the tray she was using she gets a cloth or a wet wipe and she starts wiping up. She wipes the the tray or the table or and she can make a heck of a mess as well. <laughs> She's a good girl. She's my good girl. We've nearly finished the blue and then we've just got his horn. I couldn't think of what it was then. And his foot his uh, straps around his hoof but uh, I've enjoyed this one I do love these Jade Summer Grey Scales I think they are very very good they are amazing so other than her skin which was done with the touch touch new markers it's all been done with Everblend I don't know why but that one ran out really quickly I, I to be honest I do do, do use that colour a lot for skin so I will be getting skin tones at some point but we're also trying to save some money while we're not spending it on nursery fees and stuff like that. I am very tired though. There's just one little bit more of blue down here. It's always very boring doing these big background bits. But nearly there. I just want to find my colour for the um things put the top back on. Excuse me, because it is down here in a carrier bag. I've been using the gel pens on something. Which one was it? It's a really light colour. Those. Definitely not those because that's an open packet. Is it this one? Yeah. It's nearly out this one, that's why we're using it. So we're just gonna give them a gold one. You could do a multicoloured actually. Do a multicoloured glitter one. I think I will. 
I'm just literally taking out my pens and I'm just gonna that is a lovely yellow mind it looks really nice on this paper I do love glitter pens. I love glitter. Who doesn't love a bit of glitter in their life? Everybody needs some glitter in their life, don't they? You know? We do though, don't we? Everybody needs some glitter in their lives. Oh, I'm just going to do a little bit of that one. I think the other one I want is in here. Yeah, there it is. That one. No, nope, not that one. That one. <laughs> but we've got to have a bit of silver. I, I put, might put a bit of silver just on here, just to give it a bit of shine. There. Um, no, that's not the one I wanted either. Where's that one I'm looking for? Stop disappearing, Mr. Pink. There it is. Pink. It's a very tiny little pink. And then we'll turn it around and do his fetlocks with that nice yellowy gold. I'm out of focus. Never mind. We've nearly finished. I love glitter pens. I mean, I might do one of these where I just do the main with glitter. That would look nice, wouldn't it? And we finished! Hooray! Let's turn it round and zoom out so we can see it properly. There is our finished unicorn and princess. I like it. Put a bit of glitter silver on the uh, her scepter and on his unicorn horn. Um, I think I might put a little bit on her crown. Just to give it a bit and a little bit on here just to give it a little bit of um thing what was the other color the yellow again just a little bit here it says just to just to give it a bit of highlights a little bit of sparkle everybody needs a little bit of sparkle in their life there we go that'll do there we go, so we've got a bit of sparkle. I quite like that. I hope you've enjoyed this colour and chat um, in Jade Summer's Unicorn. I'm happy to finish this one. We'll leave that open to dry before we uh, put it in the uh, completed pages pile for the month. If you've enjoyed it, leave me a comment down for, below and don't forget to like the video because that does help. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Share it with your friends and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care everybody, happy colouring, bye!